Have you ever wondered how bison, these majestic creatures, could play a crucial role in Arctic ecology? It's a question that may sound a little out there, but bear with us as we delve into the possibilities. The Arctic, a vast, icy wilderness teeming with life, is a delicate ecosystem facing numerous challenges. One of the most significant is the thawing of permafrost, a layer of frozen soil that's crucial for the region's stability. Disturbances in this icy layer could have far-reaching implications, not just for local flora and fauna, but for our planet as a whole. But what if we told you there's a rather unusual suspect that might help address these challenges? Enter the bison, a creature more commonly associated with the grasslands of North America. Yet these powerful beasts might just be the key to preserving the Arctic's fragile ecosystem. Now you might be thinking, bison in the Arctic? That's unusual. Well, let's dive deeper into this fascinating concept. Bison, often associated with the American prairie, have an uncanny resemblance to the extinct woolly mammoths in terms of their ecological roles. Now let's delve deeper into how these hefty creatures can act as ecosystem engineers. Bison, like their prehistoric counterparts, the woolly mammoths, have the potential to shape their environment in profound ways. Their daily activities, such as grazing and trampling, can significantly affect the vegetation and biodiversity of an area. Imagine a bison grazing in the vast Arctic plain. As it munches on the grass, it's not just having a meal, it's trimming the plant life which might seem destructive at first glance, but this grazing actually promotes new growth. It's like giving the grass a haircut, encouraging it to come back thicker and stronger. This can lead to greater plant diversity as different species find their niche in the newly sprouted grassland. Now picture the bison walking across the tundra, its massive weight causing a trampling effect. This trampling churns and aerates the soil, helping seeds to penetrate and take root. It's a bit like a natural plowing system, preparing the ground for a new wave of growth. But that's not all. Bison, like all animals, produce waste, which acts as a natural fertilizer. This nutrient-rich deposit feeds the soil, further enhancing the growth and diversity of plant life. These activities combined can have a surprising effect on permafrost conservation. By promoting a lush, diverse vegetation cover, the ground stays cooler, reducing the rate of permafrost thaw. This, in turn, can help to limit the release of greenhouse gases such as methane, which are trapped in the permafrost. It's a ripple effect. The bison's actions influence vegetation, the vegetation affects the ground temperature, and this temperature control can impact our global climate. So, as we can see, bison could potentially play a significant role in maintaining the Arctic ecosystem, but what exactly does this mean for our planet? Let's discover this in the next part of our journey. The reintroduction of bison to the Arctic could have far-reaching implications. Imagine the ripple effect of this, as the bison's presence could dramatically slow the thawing of permafrost, a frozen layer of soil that, when melted, releases vast amounts of greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. By trampling the snow in winter, bison reduce its insulating effect, allowing the cold air to penetrate deeper into the ground and keep the permafrost frozen. It's a natural climate control strategy that's as innovative as it is ancient. But this is just the beginning. We need to dig deeper to study and understand the full impact of these natural ecosystem engineers. Conservation efforts, too, are crucial to ensure that the bison can continue to play their role in this delicate environmental balance. In the grand scheme of things, these mighty creatures could be our unexpected allies in the fight against climate change. The story of bison in the Arctic is a testament to the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the power of nature to surprise us.